in this part we will discuss the topic placenta placenta is a flattened discoidal organ present in the uterus of pregnant woman it is temporary it is temporary structural and functional connection between fetal and mother circulation fully formed placenta weighs about 500 grams so formation of placenta begins from blastocyst so it begins developing from blastocyst shortly after implantation and placenta fully develop it is fully develop in about 11th week of pregnancy and remain throughout the pregnancy so these are some important points in the placenta so human placenta is flattened discoidal organ present in the uterus of pregnant woman it is temporary structural and functional connection between fetal and mother circulation placenta weighs about 500 grams and it begins developing from blastocyst shortly after implantation it is fully develop in about 11th week of pregnancy and remain throughout the pregnancy so placenta is only organ which is formed by tissues of two individual so placenta is form from tissues of two individuals that is fetal tissue and other part is maternal tissue fetal tissue and maternal tissue together form placenta so fetal tissue which form placenta that part is called as fetal part it is called as fetal part and the maternal tissue which is contributed in 
placenta is called as maternal part it is called as maternal part so fetal part which is present in the placenta is chorion that is in the form of villi so it is also called as chorionic villi and maternal part which is present in the placenta is uterine wall it is uterine wall so with the help of diagram we will uh, discuss structure of placenta so this is so please write down all these points so see this is embryo and these are chorionic villi this is embryo these are chorionic villi so these are chorionic villi so this is fetal part this is fetal part of placenta and fetal placenta is formed from chorionic villi see so this is endometrium this is endometrium and beneath this endometrium muscular layer of uterus that is myometrium is present so this is myometrium so this is muscular layer and it is called as myometrium and this is endometrium so during implantation chorionic villi penetrate into the endometrium and chorionic villi secretes enzyme which digest endometrium so chorionic villi are in direct contact with blood maternal blood so endometrium which is present here see so this is the part of endometrium which does not participate in formation of placenta so this is called as parietal decidua it is called as parietal decidua so this part is called as decidua bacillus this is called as decidua parietalis and part of endometrium which surround embryo this is called as so this is called as decidua capsularis so see here this is endometrium but it does not take part in the formation of placenta so this is called as decidua parietalis then endometrium which surround which surround embryo is called as decidua capsularis and this part which participate in the formation of placenta is called as decidua bacillus decidua means pregnant uterus so decidua bacillus is the main part so 
this is decidua bacillus it is main part which is uh, uh, contributed in the formation of placenta and decidua capsularis is present between the embryo and lumen of the uterus so here uter lumen of uterus present and this is the lumen of uterus and this is the embryo so this decidua capsularis is present decidua capsularis is present between the embryo and lumen of uterus so this fetus is connected to placenta by means of umbilical cord by means of umbilical cord fetus is connected to by means of a cord like structure that is called as umbilical cord which is 20 to 24 inches long and it consist of three blood vessels it consist of three blood vessels so if this is embryo uh, see if this is a embryo then this is called as umbilical cord this is umbilical cord and umbilical cord this is placenta this structure is placenta so embryo so this is a fetus now fetus it's connected to placenta by means of this is this umbilical cord so this is umbilical cord and umbilical cord consists of three blood vessels umbilical cord is 22 to 24 inches long it consists of three blood vessels out of this three blood vessels two are small arteries and one large vein umbilical cord consists of three blood vessels out of these three blood vessels two are small arteries and one is large vein so two small arteries which are present in the umbilical cord carry blood from fetus to placenta so these two small arteries carry blood from fetus to placenta and one large vein which is present in the umbilical cord returns blood from placenta to fetus so this is very important point umbilical cord consist of three blood vessels out of three blood vessels two are small arteries and one is large vein two small arteries carry blood from fetus to placenta and one large vein returns blood from placenta to fetus now we will discuss the functions of placenta so another part of our discussion is functions of placenta so placenta is a temporary organ functions of placenta first function supply of nutrients or nourishment so placenta help supply of nutrition supply of nutrients to fetus so placenta help in transport of nutrient nutrients to fetus number 
gaseous exchange so gaseous exchange takes place through placenta so oxygen is supply to fetus from placenta and the carbon dioxide which is formed in fetus is carried to placenta is transported to placenta so in this way oxygen is transported from placenta to fetus and carbon dioxide is transported from fetus to uh, placenta so gaseous exchange takes place through placenta third point placenta act as a barrier it act as a barrier but there are some uh, material some drugs some pathogens which crosses which crosses placenta and enter into the fetus and that drugs and pathogens are called as transplacental though this placenta act as a barrier it prevent entry of harmful material uh, to fetus but some material some substances are there which can cross the placenta and that substances are called as transplacental for example drugs and pathogens can cross the placenta and enter into the fetus from mother blood circulation through placenta to the fetus so drugs which can cross the placenta that drugs are heroin cocaine etc nicotine can also cross the placenta and the example of pathogen which can cross the placenta is hiv but now there are some drugs there are some medicines are available which can prevent the entry of hiv to fetus hiv means human immunodeficiency virus so this virus if mother is infected from hiv and that mother is pregnant then then hiv from mother uh, blood circulation can enter into the fetal blood circulation through the placenta but now medicines are available and that medicines prevent the entry of hiv from mother's blood to the fetal fetus next so there are some substances when that substances uh, cross the placenta that will cause some deformities in the fetus and that substances are called as teratogens that substances are called as teratogens so this is important terminology teratogens so teratogens are those substances when that substances cross the placenta and enter into the fetus they can cause deformities to the fetus and that substances are called as teratogens for example mercury mercury was the metal it is a heavy metal and it cross placenta and it caused mina meta disease it caused mina meta disease then next point that is next function of placenta placenta act as a endocrine structure so placenta secretes some hormones and that hormones are estrogen then progesterone so sorry i will write uh, here so we are discussing functions of placenta next function that is the fourth function of placenta is placenta act as a endocrine structure 
and placenta secretes some hormones and that hormones are estrogen progesterone then human chorionic gonadotropin gonadotropins that is hcg and human chorionic lactogens so these are the hormones which are secreted by placenta so these hormones are essential for development of fetus and for maintenance of pregnancy so progesterone this hormone actually this hormone is secreted by corpus luteum but after the third trimester corpus luteum degenerate and placenta is fully formed and placenta start the secretion of progesterone and progesterone is called as uh, pregnancy maintenance maintaining hormone because it maintains pregnancy next next function of placenta is placenta helps in removal of removal of nitrogenous waste removal of nitrogenous waste from fetus so in this way we have completed the structure of placenta functions of placenta in case of placenta some terminologies are used such are number 1 placenta is metadiscoidal it is chorionic and hemochorial and it is hemochorial so human placenta is metadiscoidal chorionic and hemochorial so we will explain this three terminologies which are used in case of human placenta human placenta is metadiscoidal means at the time of implantation when this embryo implanted in endometrium of uterus then at the time of implantation such type of villi are formed everywhere in the embryo but after that such structure is formed and this chorionic villi are restricted only this region so it is called as metadiscoidal human placenta is chorionic chorionic means the fetal part which take part in the formation of placenta is called as chorion so this is chorion it is in the form of villi and hence it is also called as chorionic villi next is hemochorial hemo means blood and chorion chorial means chorion so this is chorion it is the part it is a fetal part of placenta and this is uterine wall and it is richly uh, supplied with blood vessels so it is rich in blood circulation and this chorionic villi directly dip into the blood of mother and hence it is called as hemo hemo means blood and chorion means chorion so chorion is in blood of mother and hence it is called as hemochorial so in this way we have completed the topic placenta
वन मोर पॉइंट इज रिमेनिंग इन द फंक्शन ऑफ प्लासेंटा एंड दैट इज एंटीबॉडीज आई जी जी इम्यूनोग्लोब्यूलिन आई जी जी दैट इज इम्यूनोग्लोब्यूलिन जी दीज आर इम्यूनो ग्लोब्यूलिन जी दीज आर द एंटीबॉडीज विच कैन क्रॉस प्लासेंटा सो दीज एंटीबॉडीज फ्रॉम मदर्स ब्लड सर्कुलेशन एंटर इन टू द फीटस थ्रू प्लासेंटा एंड दीज एंटीबॉडीज प्रोवाइड पैसिव इम्यूनिटी प्रोवाइड पैसिव इम्यूनिटी टू बेबी after birth so this is very important point